of what's happening with security operations. So I'd like to invite Michael Michelzik and Mario Daigle up to the stage. Woo! Yay, yay! Hey, um, before we start, first of all, I want to say thank you for everyone who's attended from, who's been part of ArcSec for all these years and has been part of this. It's been a wonderful journey as I've come into the role and getting a chance to actually get to meet many of you and be part of some really, really great conversations. But you know, very, very rarely, you've all heard Interset this, Interset that, Interset this. Maria, welcome to the family. It's now been the first Cybersecurity like, Summit. Yes. What do you think? So it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, um, the best part of product management is being able to talk to customers. And I'm so grateful for all of you attended sessions, engaged with us, asked questions, talked about your operations. It's fuel for us. It's what we do. It's what we need to be able to do what we do. Uh, but the other thing that's so cool just about the integration is how uh, the technologies are just so uh, well suited and complementary. So that part is just fantastic. I mean, you know, you've got such a great, rich ingest pipeline, all of the stuff that we need to get data to be able to do the things that we do well, and we can feed it back into um, uh, where people do their work, which is really awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, crap. Did you get the clicker? Mike, you were supposed to get the clicker. I know, I know, I remember. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Let's go live. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do. All right, so many of you in the sessions today have heard us talk about ArcSight, where we're going, what we're doing. All right, so we started out, I've said it before and again, is that this is a new day. It's different. We're going to take a different way and a different approach. And I'm extremely excited about it. One of the things we did is we engaged with an outside contractor to help us think about what does the next evolution of the next gen sim need to look like. You've seen a lot of great things today from my peers who have been up here before. Wonderful beginnings and some great things coming and we wanted to keep the same, the same idea. One of the things we looked at was how do we take ArcSight and move it into the next generation of a UI and move away from what was a traditional monitoring more to an outcomes-driven, outcome-centric view of things. But then, you know, but that's not it because it's, it's got to be more than that. How do we react and respond better and faster? How do we make better decisions, more informed decisions that get us where we need to go quicker? So with that, I showed in my sessions actually the first generation of the wireframe, but like I told people in the sessions, Mario and I are huge Marvel fans. So we, as you all know, here's the, la here's the after credit scene. Mario, would you please show our people where we are actually now of taking that first gen wireframe and now as we've started to productize it and operationalize it a bit more into our technology. Okay, so this is a live demo. Live demo. So. Yes, I talked him into it. Disclaimer. And it's a prototype. It's a prototype. Yeah. Okay. But, but, <laughs> it's real. It's real. So, uh, with that said, let's share. So, like Mike said, it has to be outcome driven, so you'll notice if you've seen some of the earlier demonstrations of the first prototype, you'll notice some of the same concepts, right? We've got spark lines views to get at a glance information. It's engaging, it's rich. We've got kill chain information just to help drive that outcome centric. We've got engaging visualizations to be able to explore the data to click through. Um, bubble charts as well, but now look at this. All of a sudden, look what we have here. We now have Interset being pulled into the environment and it's, it's dynamic, it's real. So, if, again, live demo, hey. live demo. Yeah, hey. And you guys in the last session actually just thought we were just gonna do it with the active list, didn't you? <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Hold on a second. Trackpad challenges, here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. So, all of a sudden oh, I filtered down like Sheila, you. right? And I've got, all of a sudden I've got Sheila. If you've seen me do sessions, you've seen me pick on Joshua Newman quite a bit. So I thought I'd decide to shift the focus to Sheila Matha. So she's, uh, she's had some pretty risky behavior, so now I can actually do this, the same thing that I do in the Interset UI, which is, oh boy, click on, here we go. Now we've got all of a sudden some information, some anomalies that we're noticing. Just click here. Right? We've, got, we've got anomalies, we can actually see the anomalies, we can see the visualizations, but it's part of, it's part of 
the overall view. Oh, here we go. This is when you know it's live, right? As part of the overall view, we've got histogram of events. We've got the events raw, uh, just to be able to not only be engaging, but be useful. It has to be a UI that gives you practitioners the ability to investigate, to identify what's happening, to take the next step with all the context that you need. So again, what, what Mike showed was that first example, the first prototype we wanted to show you today. This is actually calling an API in the background that we can use to start driving capabilities in the same platform. So let's see if we get this right. February, you guys come into the family. Yep. We were already down the road of starting to think about the new UI, That's right? right? Okay, so we now got the first iteration of the integration coming here in another month or so, uh, right. that way. And now what we're showing you is how Interset and what technologies and capabilities they brought, not only were we able to bring their information into this so you can start getting a sense of how ArcSight will be impacted by having the behavioral analytics in it, but also now you're getting to see how we're able to iterate and take the technology stacks they bring us and help put it together even faster. So we're very excited about this. Everybody keeps asking me, so are, is it shipping tomorrow? No, it's not. Uh, this is, as we said, prototype, and very much, you would not like to know how fragile it is. But uh, anyway, you saw. You saw. Uh, yeah, well, that's why he kept saying, are you sure you want to do this? Are you <laughs> really, really sure? So anyway, right now, we are targeting and hoping to have the first cuts of this done by, we're looking to have the first release around the first quarter, first half of next year. And there's actually something about this that you all can do to help, and we would love your help. In order to get this right, we've got to map the SOC in the way that you guys work today and the way that you all want to work tomorrow. Mario and I, we get to travel a lot, we get to talk to a lot of great people, we get to work with a lot of you, but there's a, con there's a die hard fact, not one of us carry a pager and have to live in the SOC operations land. We would love the opportunity to send ourselves and some of our people into your socks and spend a couple of days with you, asking you questions, watching how you work, how you would want, if you had the magic wand and could make it do anything, what would you make it do? And understand that so that we can map what we're doing to what you all want so that when this actually does ship, it is meaningful, it is actionable, and while there's pretty buy candy that makes the executives go woohoo, at the same time, it also is useful and it delivers value to you all. So look forward to seeing what we can do with you all in the future. Please let your account team know if you're at all interested in participating in it, and we'd love to go and come out and see you. All right? Anything else? I think we're yeah, done. I think we're done. Um, All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, whoa. Wait, seriously? That's it? Really? Really? Yeah, we had some stretch goals here. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I heard we didn't use slides. We went live. If you want more? Oh, okay. it was risky. <laughs> yeah, I know. Show me what you got. All right. Should we show them one more thing? One more. All right. All right. All right. All right. So All right. Here's, let's set this up just a bit. Let's call a spade a spade. Every single person in this room, if I gave you the same 10 tasks to do, you would do it 13 different ways. Every one of you would take a different approach. We need to be able to customize and make the UI our own. So, Mario? All right. So, to that end, we knew that we needed to have a platform that was flexible and extensible because everyone needs a different way to do their work. So, to that end, we have an ability to plug in different visualizations and just dynamically add different parts uh, of what you're looking for to be able to create a customized view of your dashboard. So I can actually take these visualizations. Let's see if my trackpad skills have improved in the last five minutes. All right, let's move it up here. Let's see if that works. There we go. And where's my pipeline? I didn't want two of those. Let me just delete that. There we go. That one too. Uh, I don't you need got a little here nervous and added it three right. times. Well done. And now maybe you've got, you want a SOC view. Maybe you want to put a visualization in your SOC to show specific information that's actionable, but it would also um, show your senior management, your board, the kind of engaging visualizations, the kind of intelligence you've got in your security operations. Flexible, extensible, so all capabilities can come into a common, unified user experience.